All right, everyone, here's a neat little Easter egg, uh, a neat little aspect added in Mario 35 that was only recently discovered within the last day or so, despite the game being out for three weeks. See, typically when there's these hidden aspects in games, uh, especially in 2020, they get discovered really quickly after a game comes out because, hey, we can hack into games and, and go through game files. But for some reason, this flew under the radar, maybe just because uh, hackers haven't really bothered to do much with Mario 35. But here is a cool thing. You can play as Luigi. That's right. You can actually play as Luigi in Mario 35. Now, the requirements to do so have been unknown to this time, and uh, people have gotten Luigi to appear before, and they thought it was a glitch. Uh, that's the only videos I've been able to see on it is where people got it to appear as a glitch. Well, this is not a glitch. This is actually an official way included in the game. Now, in order for this to work, you first must be level 100, which is a star rank, all right? Uh, what that means is you hit level 99, and if you haven't hit star rank before, uh, when you go to level 100, instead of it being level 100, it is actually one star, and then two star, three star, etc. after that. So the point here is that, you know, you got to reach star rank, and then I don't know how many different star ranks there are, because I don't think we've had anyone hit the upper level. Maybe it's 99 star rank or, or whatever. I, I don't know. But uh, Combotron robot over on twitter uh then discovered once you hit star rank if you hold the l button uh while loading up a match in super mario bro uh, super mario 35 uh yeah you actually load in and play as luigi as seen in this short little clip and uh, he does note that he can't seem to figure out what the exact timing is for this button press. Like, do you need to press it once? Do you need to hold, press it here? Do you need to hold it this, hold it this? He says uh, the way that he gets it to work every single time is he holds the button throughout the entire game loading process. And then, obviously, once the game loads up, you're Luigi. So maybe that is the requirement to make him load in. But it doesn't work before you hit star rank. That's, that's kind of the big thing here. You can make the game glitch out and make him appear before star rank, but you can't actually make him appear consistently until you hit star rank. So uh, that's really, really cool. A really nice little Easter egg to put in there because obviously Luigi has been playable. I am Mario dating way back. So it's just nice to see him in there. Obviously, we all know on, on NES, uh, all, all changing to Luigi does, it just changes the color uh, from red to green. So it's pretty much still the exact same character with the same physics. This isn't like the later Mario games where Luigi had different physics or anything like that. So there's no real technical advantage to it. It's more so just a visual cue and a nice throwback to old school, uh, Mario. And I like when Nintendo does things like this because, uh, it's kind of a, uh, it's something that they don't have to do right like when you played uh you know ocarina of time they didn't have to have stained glass windows that depicted things from mario in it like they don't have to do these callbacks like mario 35 isn't going to be any more successful right now today than it was yesterday because this is in there it, that that's the thing these are the little details that we love when nintendo uh, pays attention and adds them to games and it's also partially why some people are so frustrated with super mario 3d all-stars because you'll see these little details added into these unique experiences that don't need to actually be there and don't fundamentally change anything but yet that we won't get um you know say you know full camera control in mario 64 even though fans have already done it with emulation we won't get full free roam camera control uh on a, an official hd uh, up res of Mario 64, which would seem like a bare minimum ask versus throwing an Easter egg of Luigi into Mario 35. So it's kind of that conundrum uh, with Nintendo where they, they like to add a lot of these little Easter eggs in. A lot of these don't need to be there to sell the game, but it's really, really cool if people discover it kind of things. And then you'll also get these efforts from Nintendo that uh, seem extremely bare bones and didn't even do uh, some bare minimum alterations that could have made things a lot better like i personally know um after all these years of playing with free roam cameras that uh when i go back and i play mario 64 i just don't enjoy it like i did when i was a kid and didn't know any better uh, i know better i know there's a better way now and now the camera just really really frustrates me it probably frustrated me as a kid as well thinking back but it was probably less so because you were more amazed at, the, at you know playing mario in 3d uh that you kind of just dealt with the pitfalls of that uh whereas today we know it can be done better and uh it should be done better there's no reason nintendo couldn't have done it if fans can do it but that's the thing they didn't 
And now with Mario 35, we get this really cool Easter egg. It'll be interesting to see um, if there's any other like Easter eggs. Like you know what happens if you hit uh, you know two star rank or three star rank? Is there like a way to switch it to like an NES version of Toad or, or something like that? I doubt it because the Luigi thing actually makes a lot of sense and the L button L for Luigi. Uh, so it does make a lot of sense. Uh, to include this in there, given Luigi's history, uh, dating back basically almost as far back as Mario, not quite to the Jumpman days uh, where Mario originated from, but still, I'm glad this is in here, and this is just another reminder of, of all the little Easter eggs that Nintendo likes to include. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And do you think this is a really neat inclusion? Do you just not care? Uh, now that it's there, do you have even more of a reason to hit star rank so you can play as, uh, as in my opinion, the better Mario brother? Uh, but you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. I am with Andy Robo Gents from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next video.